Hello and welcome to this mini lecture um, designed for uh, students in the Department of English and Creative Writing called Meet Your Assessment Criteria. So, whether you're writing an essay or planning a presentation or compiling a writing portfolio, knowing the assessment criteria is essential. This presentation is designed to give you the tools you need to meet your assessment criteria, to get to know them, what you should do with them, and where to go if you don't understand. We want you to succeed and to realise your full potential. And a really good starting point is to make sure that you understand what qualities we look for when we mark your work. And that's precisely where the assessment criteria come in. So, there are quite a few sets of assessment criteria, and some look like this in a matrix, other look more like a list, but essentially they all work in a very similar way. So the first thing to do is make sure that you are actually looking at the right set of assessment criteria for the module that you're taking. So these particular, uh, this particular matrix is for essays and examinations um, for English literature modules, EN modules. Now, of course, you've got to find the assessment criteria in the first place, and you'll find them in a number of different places. And here are the key ones that I want you to try to remember. You'll find the assessment criteria lurking in your year information book. Now, these will have either been given to you in the induction sessions, or they'll be available um, on Blackboard in the undergraduate information pages. And you'll find that the undergraduate information pages has a section for assessment criteria as well. Now, to make it really simple, um, and so that everybody has access to the right set of criteria, you will also find that on every module that you're studying with this department on Blackboard, the correct set of criteria are there under the assignment um, uh, folder on your module pages. Uh, so probably in the same place that you found this video, they'll just be underneath. Okay, so you've identified the correct set of assessment criteria, what next? Well now it's time to start thinking about what qualities your work needs uh, to demonstrate. <clears throat> and in the first instance, it's a good idea to start here with the top row. Here you'll find the categories, the elements that we look for whilst we're reading your work. And in this example of the assessment criteria, there are seven categories. Knowledge, context, analysis, argument, focus or relevance, expression and presentation. You can see from hit this in this example, the first five categories are to do with the, um, the content of your essay, how well you know the topic that you're writing on, the quality of your argument and its relevance uh, to the area that you've been studying, and how well you balance between the need to demonstrate knowledge of the subject, knowledge of the contextual issues that might impact upon your reading of the topic, and your own analysis of the literary text. Think of the first five categories like a scholarly version of plate spinning. The last two categories uh, focus on your academic writing skills. How effective is your written communication? Do you have a good grasp of relevant terminology? Is your work presented profession professionally and accurately? So. Um, these elements, if you like, are the polishing, the, the elements that you can achieve in that last uh, few stages of proofreading uh, to make sure that your work is, is, is given um, as good a, um, a gloss as it possibly can be. 
the descriptors going across the page horizontally describe the, the qualities that a piece of work would have in each category for a given mark band. You can see the mark bands there down the side. But it's important to note the following statement, which is always printed alongside the assessment criteria. Verbal descriptors apply to the mid mark, the middle mark in each category. In order to obtain a mark in a particular band, it's not necessary that your work should have all of the qualities listed in the band or have them in equal proportions. Now that's important because what that means is that your work might demonstrate some qualities in an upper mark band and some qualities in a lower one. And some categories might have elements split between two different mark bands, like in this example. The important thing to remember is that these descriptors act as a guide to what an essay in the middle of a mark range would look like. Often your mark is actually derived by taking into account um, a broad spread of different qualities, much like the rather what we might call uneven performance that an essay with these qualities, with this particular pattern, uh, would demonstrate. Okay, so now you know where to find the assessment criteria and how to use them to inform your work. Well, the next step is to think about how to use them alongside the feedback that you get for your, um, for your assessed work. So, don't just look at the numerical mark. And equally, don't just look at the annotations that we offer you via Turnitin. What you have to do is look for the narrative comment. Yeah, this box here, the text comment, which gives you um, a discursive account of the qualities and areas for improvement in your work. And these judgments are clearly linked to the assessment criteria. So if you're having trouble understanding how your mark was derived or which parts of the assessment criteria you're not addressing fully, don't hesitate to go and see your module tutor who will be able to give you specific advice and feedback on the topic of the module that you are studying. Similarly, feel free to go and discuss the assessment criteria and your feedback with your um, personal tutor who will be in a really good position to give you more general advice and further feedback particularly on those recurring problems or particular skills that you're struggling with in your work. And finally now that you've met the assessment criteria your next job is to get to know them thoroughly because if you do that you will make the assessment criteria work for you.